Hello and welcome back to part 8 of Let's Play East 1 and we are on the 10th floor, that's where we are one of the really cool backgrounds so we're gonna go in here we're gonna kill this guy and what's this way? We have two ways. So I've most likely taken the wrong way. Okay, this is very important. Oh. See that door there to the right? We need to get there as quick as we can. See that? We take crab loads of damage. Like insane amounts of damage. You cannot get to the end. I've tried and failed. So he can no longer go invisible. That's a shame. So he re heals you, and he basically tells you that you can't uh, get the end of the corridor. And it tells you that it's caused by the wind, like a pipe organ. The wind's being fed through one of the pillars on the balcony. See that's in blue? That is fucking important. And if you so don't do what I do and completely ignore it. See how quick you die? It's insane. And you can get out of my way. Right. So we can go down here and end up nowhere. Or we can go in here, which leads absolutely nowhere. Because I'm pro. I'm swapping to the heal ring. Because we're going up here now. And if you look at the pillars on these balconies, they are, well, like an organ. Which took me a good 20 30 minutes to figure out first time. So that's a pain. Now I'll swap back to the uh, shield ring. See the blood on the floor? This isn't... Ah, uh, never mind. It's uh, Luther. Uh, what I was going to say is this is uh, something we need to remember. His location, because we have to come back to him. It's one of the most confusing things in the game. I didn't realize what I had to do. And I'll explain to that when we get to it, but we haven't gotten there yet. So, from one of these, we have to break. No, it's not with that. It's uh, in here. We, we equip the hammer. Could be used to break stone. That was also something that I didn't realize. It's not that one. Not that one. If it's that door, I believe it's two there. It's that one. What's this one do? I always put this on just in case I don't need it on. Now we can get through the devil's corridor. Haha. <laughs> oh shit. So yeah, Devil's Corridor. Eee. Which is just it. And now I believe he's gone, so we can't get healed up again. I really like the uh, background here. It's very cool. And uh, when it was Devil's um, Corridor, the green and red swirling of the screen is pretty cool. Okay, so what floor are we on? We're on the 12th floor. Let's have a look around here then. Seems like we can only go down there. But let's have a quick look in here just in case. No, that is just a quick way. No way down. I, I have to explore the floors again because unfortunately I don't remember them all completely. I actually think this might be a boss area. Come on. Obviously I'm wrong because unlike that, 
getting higher and higher up. So it changes a bit. I've got a feeling I just ran past the door. So here we have the room that we're going to be coming back to. That chest over there is very important. So we have to go rescue someone from a room opened by a bomb of an evil heart. By this point in the game I'd already realised the evil ring kills you when you equip it, but there is a way around that. It doesn't kill you immediately, to be fair. Um, we'll be coming back to this room. We first need to go save the girl, I believe. So let's go do that. Actually, we don't need to save the girl. We need to do that later. We need to kill this boss first. So what we're going to do is we are going to save. Because that will be the smart thing to do. We are full HP. Let's check our equipment. Yeah, we're, we're as well equipped as we can be. Ah, this boss. This boss is nice and fun. Because uh, what you want to do is it's just walk. I died a couple of times when I did him before. And that's because I was running. And when you run, you actually take more damage because uh, you're running through the lines a lot quicker. If you just walk around him and aim for the actual rocky part instead of the center, central part, you'll kill him first. What am I doing? Let's head back in there and grab the rod and a book of ease and now we go back to the mirror room which is a little bit confusing hey look it's all nice and dark outside with a nice little moonlight effect on the water it's pretty damn cool now we have the rod, we can use these teleporters. Kill the enemy at least once. And the one we're going to take first is this one. Yeah, that doesn't actually go anywhere. We want to take the one here on the right. Took the wrong one. So, all the way down the bottom. Right, we went up last time, we don't want to go up. No, this is the one we took last time, that's the one we don't want to take. We want to go... Well, I've clearly screwed up somewhere. positive that's the one we take and that's the one we take there god damn it and now we can kill him and we can get our silver armor it helps if you don't suck ass in combat when you have to fight at least so we're gonna quit our silver armor and now we're going to go back in. All the way to this one. And we're going to take the right one. Now this one is the trick one. I remember this because it makes you think to, to go up and search around and take that mirror there. But don't. Take the one that you spawn in front of. I remember that. And there you go. You can progress. Let's Heal up a bit. Helps if I put the correct ring on. The music has changed as well. It's pretty.
pretty cool. Now, where are we? Floor 15. I don't believe there's a chest on this one. <laughs> uh, don't believe there's a chest on this one. Uh, nice. Uh, I screwed that one up. Just looked at my notes and it's in big letters. Battle Shield, Floor 16, South. Okay, um, I think that way progresses up. And we don't want to go that way just yet. We actually want to go over here. And around. And here we have this door. These guys are actually quite powerful. Like nothing there. Nothing in there. In fact, I know there's actually nothing on this stage, just in case you get around them. They're very quick. They hit hard. And they take a while to die. I really like this uh, sort of isometric view here. It's really cool. Now this is where we need the even ring. So we're going to save, because uh, I am not, I believe this is a, a boss now. I'm not particularly good at this one. I know what I have to do. Uh, why am I using that one? It's the wrong one. We, we need the... Hmm... That's for the traps. Pretty sure it's not this. I actually thought it was something else. Oh well, I've just saved so I can try. Oh no, it is that way. Okay, it is definitely that one. I really thought it was a different way. There's another blue item, I think it's blue something, maybe amulet that you get as well. And I thought it was that that we use. And now we can swap to... Oh, whatever, really. I'm going to have to use that in this playthrough. No, not that put that on. Okay, th this isn't the boss then. <laughs> it's just me being retarded. I thought that was a boss before you save Rhea. <laughs> His name is Dark Fat. He's the guy who wears the cape. He's the guy who's been stealing all the silver items from uh, well, her harmonica for example. So he is the main bad guy. He is uh, a hard boss, a very hard boss. So there we go, we now have the monocle. Now. Now, what we want to be doing is going in here using the monocle and we want to read the yellow book so you can pause it and read it. And now this is the book of Gemma as in Luther Goddamn Gemma because I didn't read those properly, really, and didn't really pay attention, I was stuck for goddamn ages. Um, let's put that on. So what we want to do now is we want to head all the way back to Gemma and talk to him. 
if you read the book, it might tell you why you need to do that. I haven't actually, well, I have read it. I don't actually remember what it said. I know it's like something along the lines, we are the people of Gemma. Or, and basically it tells you to get, like there's uh, something passed down through their ages. Like, through their uh, generations. <laughs> so I recommend you go read that if you didn't, because I didn't. I can't remember what it says. So we have to go back to where that blood was, back on floor 11. So there's a bit of a backtrack. And getting through here can prove to be quite troublesome. I can't actually remember the way back. But I'm pretty sure that one takes us here and that one... Well, I've done screwed up because I have no idea where I am now. Oh, let's take this one. Now oh, there we go. Made it back. And then we don't want to go up to the left. We want to go through the middle. That's a big mistake I always make. Uh, I think you can talk to Rubber as well, and he'll tell you something. You know, something unnecessary for the game, but some plot filler maybe. Something to make you feel better. So I need to go down one more floor. See a town over there. That's probably Minia. Okay, so we will go north. That's the wrong one. That's the room Rubble was in. We will go north. I hate when goes with that. Um, instead of to the northeast, we just go straight up here. I believe this is the way back to the platforms. And Gamma should be here. See? What's that git talking about that? He could have told us sooner. I'm pretty sure he knew he was looking for the Books of East. Yeah, the blue amulet. I thought you needed that to open the evil door. Now, let's have a quick look at the uh, blue amulet. There it is. Element of the Gemma shines with a pale and frigid light. I have... I think you need that on the last boss. Like just to have it in your inventory. I have no idea actually. I cannot remember for the life of me what its use is. Yeah, I want to go right and then we want to go south. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be running back to where we were. Um, so we can start the next episode off from floor 8 or whatever floor it was. So it shouldn't take me too long to get back there. Just admire the good music and me talking over it and making it sound shitty. And we are on 12. It shouldn't take me too long to get back there. The only one that should pose a problem is the maze. I'm not 100% sure on the maze, and um, I've only just done the bloody maze. If I didn't mention, it was the rod that allows us to uh, use them. Take the right one, and then that one, and up the stairs. Now we quickly heal up. Like the shield ring back on. What is it this music reminds me of? Some some sort of run and gate uh, run and gun NES game, I think. So 
like it's on the tip of my tongue, a game that reminds me of uh, for the life I cannot remember. Um, okay, alright. So, what I just did is I ran up onto the balcony from this door and Previously we hadn't been up here, we had gone south and gone into the annex instead. So that will be all for this part. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in part 9. See you then.